Welcome to Teddy's Universe, where we get real wild and we put in work. I said. What's going on, y'all? This your boy Teddy Blackman. We are back with a Boston Celtics 2023 season preview. And um, the season kicks off this Tuesday, but for the Celtics, it kicks off Wednesday against the New York Knicks. And if you are a fan of the Celtics like I am, then you are wondering what the ceiling is for this team and just how far this team can go. Obviously, there were wholesale changes going on um, this offseason with the subtractions of faces like um, Marcus Smart and Malcolm Brogdon. Um, to bring in uh, Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and uh, Drew Holiday. Um, other pieces have been moved around, but nothing super duper notable. Um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this group can do. Now, a lot of uh, my fellow Celtic fans didn't want to make these trades. They love Marcus Smart, and they love Brogdon. I love Brogdon, too. I kind of was out on Marcus Smart, but... Um, a lot of fans didn't want to trade them because they had these emotional ties. You know, we get a we get um, tied up in these things like, oh, he's our heart and soul, the emotional leader. Um, oh, Rob Williams, by the way, was traded to Portland with Malcolm Brogdon to get Drew Holiday. Got to can't forget my bad time, Lord, my bad. Um, but yeah, so basically, that's just a rundown of the notable portion of it as we get into the season man i understand people didn't want to trade certain people like tom lord and marcus smart but at the end of the day it's been about six seven years with these guys you know you peaked and you're starting to get you know lesser and lesser you know what i'm saying um everybody likes to throw the whole you know we made it to the eastern conference finals thing but you don't play to make it to the eastern conference finals you play to win championships and when you go to the eastern conference finals five times out of the last seven years and only made it to the finals once it's time to make some changes you know what i'm saying and um shout out to brad stevens for having like that wherewithal to actually pull the trigger because these are some some super beloved players by the fans you know what i'm saying Marcus smart is like he's been here about 10 years i think 10 11 years and he was the longest thing in celtic i think about was jalen brown and it's just not easy to to part with a player like that. Same thing with Time Lord. You know what I'm saying? Now the Malcolm Brogdon thing was interesting because it's like, um, he's only been here for a year, but he won six man of the year. And the thing with Brogdon is Brogdon tends to get hurt. And he made it through a whole season and then when we needed him the most against the Heat, he got hurt. Well, he got hurt before the Heat. He just came back against the Heat and was like a complete, you know, couldn't do a shell of itself. Um, with the influx of point guards leaving, that freed up some space for Peyton Pitcher to play some minutes who demanded a trade, but said he cleared his mind over the summer, and so we'll see how that pans out. Um, I'm looking forward to the starting lineup maybe being uh, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Brown, Tatum, and Porzingis to see how things are. Maybe you bring uh, Derek White off the bench so you can have like a little bit more depth coming off the bench. Um, you don't want to depend on like Peyton Pritchard and Al Horford. Obviously, the bench will, should be like you know decent anyway because Peyton Pritchard is and steadily improving. Al Horford is overliable. You have like Sam Hauser. Um, yeah, the Luke Cornette, who I'm not looking for nothing from Luke, just you know something. Anything is a bonus with Luke, um, and just seeing if this team could gel together to win a championship. Now, one thing that concerns me, especially in the preseason, and I know people, are like, oh, it's preseason, it don't count this and that. Um, in preseason, you want to watch for like tendencies and habits, because this is where teams win their championships at. You know what I'm saying? They don't win championships when they win them they win them by making those winning habits and routines right now in training camp in preseason and one thing that does concern me is the Celtics defense you know what I'm saying they got these uh things where they build up these huge leads as you can see against New York the other night 
up by like 30. And then in the third quarter, they kind of just take their foot off the gas and let the team back in the game. This happens so, so much. And the fact that this is happening with uh, half the roster turned over <laughs> – it furthers what I already believe and which is a slight culture problem with the Celtics. Now they brought in some different little coaches, um, Sam Cassells of the world and things of that nature to help out with that situation. So I'm quite sure it'll improve some, but going forward, that's going to have to be nipped in the bud. If you really want to win a championship, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really thinking that, this Celtics team could win a championship, also barring injury. Now, when we talk about injuries, we have to speak about um, Chris Stapps Porzingis, who has been – was brilliant last season with the Wizards, but he was the focal point. Um, I think he'll be like a, a third wheel with the Celtics, maybe a 2A, 2B situation with Jalen Brown. He brings a different dynamic – to to the team he can stretch the floor consistently um he gets a ton in the preseason he's been getting a ton of open shots um the defense has been focusing on tatum who's also been playing well um brown's good and then you have pesky drew holiday just running around and drew holiday has been asked to not even do that much which makes him even even more valuable because of what he already brings to the table um Hopefully, it could be a situation where the team kind of can put teams away and get these guys some rest. Al Horf is going on 40. I know he won't play back-to-backs, and I know he um, won't start more than likely. But we have to keep keeping him in shape and keep keeping his minutes down, you know what I'm saying, and keep doing the things that he needs to do to stay fresh for the postseason run. Um a knock on wood, man, I know Jalen Brown has had an injury in the playoffs before, and Tatum has had the wrist thing. But these two guys have been relatively healthy their whole careers. We're going on year seven for, I think, Tatum and year eight for JB. Um, they've been relatively healthy, and we just have to hope that that continues because that's the shot that we have here. Um, Drew Holiday has had some injuries, but nothing crazy to be like, oh, he's injury prone or nothing like that. And keep it out here for fresh. Like I said, he won't play back to backs, and he'll have nights off regularly. Um, he he'll probably, to tell you the truth, Al Horford will probably will play forty fifty games this season. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Hopefully, we can get Tatum. You know, I know they want to win awards, and they got to play like sixty games or something like that to win awards. But hopefully, we can keep Tatum and Brown down too. Hopefully, um, the schedule opens up uh, against the Knicks and the Heat. But then after that, they have, like, the Wizards, you know, the Pacers, you know, a couple of teams that, yeah, they'll be scrappy, and on any given night you can lose, but teams that you should be able to quickly build up some Ws in the standings. And I, I'm interested to see how the Celtics go about that. Are they going to be, like, really on a mission to win a championship, as they say, or is it going to really just be, like, the same old Celtics who, yeah, they have the talent to win, but they don't really want to win. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm really looking forward to that, man. Um, basketball season is here, and I'm, I'm I'm excited. I haven't been excited for a Celtic season in a long time. Now, normally what I do is I normally like to watch the first game of the season, and I can tell you how the season goes. I haven't been wrong yet. I can tell you what round we going to. I can tell you um, – well, no, nah, correct. I was wrong last year. I watched the Celtics lose. I, I believe they lost the first game of the season last year. And I said the team was a second-round exit at best. Now, they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals the third round. Um, almost created history by being the first team to win a series after being down 0-3. Fell short. Um, Tatum got hurt, rolled his ankle, was no good. Um, Jalen Brown had an abysmal game. Hopefully, he's worked on his left hand. I've been seeing Jalen Brown post all these workout videos, and none of them be working on his left hand. So, I'm concerned about that. We'll see about that. Hopefully, with the additions of, like, KP and um, Drew Holiday, he will have to use less of his left hand. That would be, like, the trade-off, hopefully. Um, other than that, man, I'm really excited to see what's going on. Uh, if you see this video on the tube, you're a Celtics fan. Let me know what you think we're going to do. 
Um, if you're another team fan, let me know what your team is and how y'all match up against the Celtics. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, appreciate that. And I'll be dropping Celtics videos throughout the year or whatever. Um, but, yeah, this is Teddy Blackman, and I'm out. Welcome to Teddy's Universe, where we get real wild and we put in work. I said...